Yep. You know, folks, we're, we're still sorting through the results of last night's debate. Mm. We know Donald Trump watched because they were on the TV. <laughs> and uh -huh. uh, yeah, the president right. had some choice words for one of CNN's moderators. CNN's Don Lemon, <laughs> the dumbest man on television, insinuated last night while asking a debate question that I was a racist when, in fact, I am the least racist person <laughs> in the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds like the least racist person in the world. <laughs> Listen up, everybody. The dumb black guy thinks I'm a racist. <laughs> also, that least racist person in the world quote sounds familiar. Where have I heard that before? I am the least racist person there is anywhere in the world. You can't quote yourself. <laughs> it's like that famous saying by a very wise man, you can't quote yourself. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> he tweeted on, Perhaps someone should explain to Don that he is supposed to be neutral, unbiased, and fair, comma, dot, 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 or is he too dumb, stupid, to understand that? <laughs> okay. Okay, but your argument would have been a little stronger if you hadn't used a parenthesis and then a bracket. I, uh... That just makes you look dumb, stupid. <laughs> but the candidate who made the most surprising splash last night was self-help author and high priestess saying, bring me the child. <laughs> Marianne Williamson. After last night's debate, Williamson became the most Googled candidate in part because she said stuff like this. If you think any of this wonkiness is going to deal with this dark psychic force of the collectivized hatred that this president is bringing up in this country, then I'm afraid that the Democrats are going to see some very dark days. Fun fact, some very dark days is what Trump calls Black History Month. <laughs> oh, Those... my. Oh, my. It's true. True story. Ah. True story, John. Ah. True story. Oh, well. Those who did Google Williamson found some interesting stuff. For instance, Williamson has controversial views on vaccines, calling them Orwellian. Yeah, reminds me of George Orwell's last words. Hi, I'm George Orwell. I died of tuberculosis when I was 46, and I really wish there had been a vaccine for it. <laughs> plus... That is double plus good. That yeah. joke is double plus yeah. good. Plus, in her book, Return to Love, Williamson wrote, AIDS can be thought of as angels in Darth Vader suits and told people with the disease to imagine the AIDS virus as Darth Vader, then unzip his suit to allow an angel to emerge. Do you mean this angel? <laughs> Here's a pro tip for anyone out there seeking medical advice. This is not the cure you're looking for. <laughs> so, so, a lot of kooky things about Marion Williamson's past, but these days, she's trying to appear more polished and pragmatic. Let's see how that worked out for this child reporter after last night's debate. Do you have a pet? Do I have a pet? I had a cat and the cat no. <laughs> yes. Yes, Johnny. Because you see, we're all going to die. <laughs> you, me, your grandma. And it's because you didn't picture an angel inside a Darth Vader suit. We'll be right back.